Hey guys, this isn't a uh, gear update. Well, not really. I mean, it's just a quick how-to of, from what I've seen in original photos, of how to set up a Fallschirmjäger webkit if you're not using uh, bandoliers, the special bandoliers. Now, This was going to be a bread bag video, but then I realized that there's so many variations of ways to put things. Let's just get started. First of all, notice this setup. This is what you typically see as it sits right here. However, notice why the straps sit off and the D-ring. Well. What I've seen in original photos, this seems to be the most common, but the canteen I've seen on a separate D-ring, and this, this is, it's actually more common to see it this way. This is more commonly seen like this. the back of the suspender Y straps kind of banging against your back but it's better than nothing now what would go in the bread bag your Zeltbahn with two mess kit or tornister straps now after that it's pretty much just bayonet and ammo pouches and possibly a pistol holster if you now the way I'm doing it is that it's the pistol will be kept in my jump smock, so that's where that's going. Now, to see, it's in the bread bag. And now onto the bread bag itself. All right, as you can see here, this is at the fronts, Luft, imported Luftwaffe bread bag, nothing too special about that. Now, I can the camera pan over and see what all I put in it and see it's quite a lot for a lot of German soldiers now this is from research looking on the internet and in at original photos and on and in books if you've ever heard of such things now let's get started let's get what the bread bags actually for is is rations See, there's not much room. Got my ration bag, two water bottles just for space, filler. Um, what would normally be a typical day's rations. You can see there, put that in there, the corner there. And then in front of that, the cleaning kit, because there's really nowhere else to put it other than your pocket. Pockets, there's that. Kind of just nestles right up the corner there next to the ration. Next, front camper box. This will go in front of your other rations, of your regular rations. You can see it kind of ex helps expand it out as well. And then, supplemental rations. I mean, Luftwaffe was issued Coca Cola. They're also issued, I think, like coconut wafer bars basically and let's see here if I can get it yep there we go in that corner there so the two corners are occupied by the coca cola ration and your cleaning kit next standard towel then your mess utensils stick them right in front here then my hands are getting in the way Just seal it up nice and tight pretty seal it up get the, get the flap over Making sure it's flat for you 
stitch Nazis about looking nice. Now, in front of this, then, there, I mean, my bread bag basically stands up on its own here because of the amount of stuff I put in it. That's just because the Luftwaffe, I mean, you're basically supposed to jump with little to no nothing and your jump smock pockets. Originally, the jump smocks actually didn't even have pockets. So then canteen hangs off there. I'm not going to mess with the mess kit right now. Your mess utensils and you could go in the mess kit as well, but that's just the option of preference. So here we go. That's what I'm. That's how I do based on looking at original photographs. And this is just basically from what I've researched into what they actually carried into battle. This is for mid to late war, not for anything Crete. Like Crete, Crete, they would have just got a crate load of rations and tried to stuff them in their pockets and such. But I mean, again, it's the German army. You're su you're supposed to get a a uh, hot meal every day, so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks to my... The hundred or so of you who have already... Made me keep posting videos, so... Don't be shy.